Jesus Christ, really? Don't forget to become a member of Unrelent Gaming's Patreon for exclusive manga content and early access. Isn't that right, Seth? I already joined his Patreon today. Tons of great stuff on there, actually. But did you really have to blow up the city? Mm, yes. You blew up the domino. You blew up the domino and you're laughing. Do you realize the f***ing crisis here? And you will be next. Unless you subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications right now. Or else what? You'll aggressively scream another man's name for several hours? Kakarot! Kakarot! Now this was certainly something that I did not expect would happen, especially after seeing the lengths that Goku Black was shown going to in order to ensure that our heroes are destroyed. But now, with Universe 10's alternate Kaioshin aiding our heroes in doing what they can to stop Goku Black, I can't help but wonder if they will actually be able to pull it off with succession and win, or if they're simply walking into a trap and having to fail against Goku Black, despite sending his dark army back to where they rightfully belong. Our story now continues following the initial events of our heroes being shown having to wage war in going up against Goku Black's Dark Warriors, as with Orange Piccolo shown having to clash with none other than Super Saiyan Rose Trunks Black upon also finding out that Zamasu had turned against Goku Black was when Vegeta then went on to chime in. So you're seriously meaning to tell me that this version of Zamasu actually wants to go and help us stop Goku Black? And why are we to believe him when they are both one in the same and so what's in it for him? with Zamasu responding, So oh, listen, you may choose to believe whatever it is that you wish to want to believe, but stopping Goku Black's dark forces from further causing more chaos is what we should be by far more focused on than anything else at the moment. Right, but what exactly is in it for you, Kaioshin Vegeta questions? For we have absolutely no reason to go and trust anything that comes out of your mouth, and so unless you tell us on why you're doing this, then you can count me out with Zamasu. Zamasu responding, Seriously? Are you listening to yourself right now, mortal? For you must realize the gravity of our situation, because by eliminating Goku Black's henchmen before engaging against Goku Black head-on, would not only leave Black helpless and without aid, but this would also give us the chance to therefore attack him all at once and stop him before things go from bad to so much worse if we don't. And so this is why we must target the others, Zamasu continues. And while I don't think that fighting Goku Black alone will be as easy as any of you might assume for it to be. It's better for us to ensure that Goku Black doesn't have the means to fall back on anyone like how he did with my counterparts, which is why the others must be sent away so that way we can go and handle him alone, and so we must hurry, for we are also running out of time, and so if you choose not to believe me, then that is your problem and not mine, Zamasu continues. But either way, I will do what I must and carry this out the best and only way that I know how, and if you truly wish to help me, then you will go and do exactly as we just did, and create a momentary distraction for me to go and find and open the respective realm which they each belong in, so that way you can go and attack them on my signal and send these monsters back to where they belong once and for all, and so listen closely. While we have the means to go and attack, I want you both to shift your attention on over and focus on the one who calls himself Trunks. As all the while in the meantime elsewhere on the battlefield with full powered Super Saiyan Broly being shown having to attack in unleashing a barrage of ferocious strikes upon Super Saiyan 3 Rose Goku Black was when Goku Black then went on to chime in. I'll admit your raw power is exactly how I imagined that it would be especially since you aren't shown fully being able to control it for if I didn't train to get to where I currently am here against you Black adds then I more than likely would have died by your dirty Saiyan hands but at least now I am able to gauge my 
myself and see exactly where it is that I stand when compared to you, and I must say, I'm quite impressed, surprised by how powerful I've become while you mortals remain the same. And while your raw power and mine appear to be evenly matched, or at least for the time being, Black went on to then uppercut Broly in the face by responding, I can assure you now that you will not outlast me in this fight, because there are still many things that I have yet to show you that I have hidden up my sleeve and waiting for all of you to see. One of which being a power that goes far beyond your own, Black went on to then continue upon being shown blocking off Broly's attack. And in case you think that you have me all figured out, then you are in for a rude awakening. But even then, while this was shown having to happen, when then venturing back on over to Orange Piccolo and Super Saiyan Rose Trunks Black with Trunks being shown clinching onto his face was when Trunks then went on to respond with why you this can't be true how are you so powerful in this timeline whereas in mine you were already destroyed before the fight had even started between us and so how could this be you aren't the real Piccolo you just can't be because the real Piccolo was never this powerful with Piccolo then responding well you can go and forget about everything that it is that you think you know about me because right now you went and made the biggest mistake of your miserable life by choosing to come into this timeline by stealing the body and the power of another one of our own and I promise that you will pay dearly for the crimes that you have committed Zamasu stolen army of Saiyans or not but even then Trunks Black was not having it because despite with Trunks Black them being shown dashing right towards Piccolo was when Trunks Black then went on to respond you of all mortals should know your place and understand that you could never no matter how badly you tried ever come close in surpassing my power but then it was only just then from out of nowhere before Trunks Black even saw it coming was when Ultra Ego Vegeta had then gone as far as to dash on in by from that point then being shown having to uppercut Trunks Black in the stomach by then responding oh I'm sorry but did I just have Happen to hear you say something about having the Namekian surpass your power, Kaioshin? And in what world do you think that this so-called power you wield belongs to the likes of you? Because I hate to break it to you, but it doesn't. For this power belongs to my son that you've destroyed, coward. For my son could never reduce himself into becoming as weak and as pathetic as you. So go and do as you just said and know your place among the strongest to ever exist for you're not one of them and you will never be one of them coward to which it was only then now from out of nowhere with mastered ultra instant goku then shown having to swoop on in in kicking super saiyan rose future trunks black in the face and having to knock him away was when goku then went on to respond sorry about that vegeta but if we are to do this then we gotta hurry and take every chance that we can to send these monsters back to where they belong and so now hurry, Piccolo! Now's your chance to blast this bastard with everything that you have! And so you have to hurry and fire that thing right now! With Piccolo then shouting, Right, and so now let this be a painful reminder of why you will never be anything like the real future Trunks. And so this one is for him, you monster light grenade attack! To which seconds later, with Orange Piccolo's light grenade attack being shown having to slam right into future Trunks, Trunks, as Zamasu had stood behind them, was when future Zamasu then went on to chime back in. Yes, there we are, and now that I have him within my sights, it's time that I go and send you to where you rightfully belong and be through with you and your kind from this battlefield once and for all. And to think that this was going to be what I would become, Zamasu adds, for I could never allow for this to stand, especially not with everything that I've seen and experienced with Goku Black. <laughs> for this nightmare happened to end and it's time that you go back to where you came from and remain where you belong without being brought back. Zamasu went on to use his time ring. Alright, and down goes the second one. Good work, Zamasu. We got him. Goku then went on to quickly shout. Oh, I can't believe that I'm hearing those words leave your mouth, Kakarot. Wait a second, did I just hear you right? Orange Piccolo surprisingly then went on to question. You were in on this the 
whole time? So that Zamasu there is on our side? But how could you be so sure that we could even trust him? Piccolo went on to then further question. Because why in the world would he have any reason to go and help us for Piccolo further questions? Surely you don't think that he's actually being serious here, are you Goku? Or are you absolutely sure that we can count on him? Look, Goku says, I know that it may look bad because I was also skeptical about his entire plan myself, but, well, so far he's shown us that he really isn't on Goku Black's side, nor does he even want to be, and so therefore we have to trust him, Goku continues. There's no telling on what he knows about Goku Black that we don't, and so we'll have to put our faith in him unless something were to change later on, with Piccolo having to respond, but it's just working alongside Zamasu was, well, not something that I would have seen in the cards here today, but, oh well, I trust your judgment, Goku, with Zamasu then having to chime back in. Come now, look, over there, as there is only one that remains before singling out the main and strongest target of the bunch, and so that one there is all that remains, and so we have to act fast while that savage Saiyan you call Broly has Goku Black's attention, so if we are to act upon something, then we must do it now, with Goku responding, right, it's that Gohan Black over there, isn't it? Well, it looks like since Gohan doesn't appear as though he needs our help, Goku adds, this is what we're going to do, and so I need you to listen, Zamasu, with Zamasu quickly responding, I already know about what you're thinking, son Goku, and so I'll wait on your signal before I move in and strike, but what's your plan? To which back on over in the meantime, when then venturing back over to Super Saiyan Rose Ultimate Gohan Black having to battle against Beast Gohan, with Beast Gohan now being shown in complete control, the entirety of this battle involving both Gohans had seemed to have been a very personal one, as Beast Gohan then went on to respond, You heartless, no good, rotten pile of trash! You think you could just steal my body and already expect to know how to wield my power better than I could, Beast Gohan questions? No, for you could never, and to think that you would go as far as to use my own body and go and hurt my family is something that goes far below simply hitting rock bottom, Zamasu, as I'll make sure that you go and pay for the nightmares you've caused within your own world, coward. And what makes you believe that you and your tribe of apes could ever measure up to the power of a god, Gohan Black responds. How could you be so sure of yourself when our battle isn't quite over, Saiyan? For I can go and tell you now that on King Zamasu's honor, you will never beat us no matter how many of you there are, and so why don't you just give up already and die? Funny, Gohan responds, so now there's a so-called King Zamasu among your gang of body snatching losers too? Well, I'm sure of myself quite a bit actually, because the very same god power that you keep on bragging about is the very same source of power that comes from deep within us. You know, the mortals that you really, really hate, isn't that right? And so that means that as long as we possess the will to carry on, Gohan adds, then you and your goons will never be able to beat us, Zamasu. But it's very ironic because for someone who continues to brag about their stolen god power, Gohan adds, you sure do seem to be losing against me now, aren't you? And do you want to know why that is? Well, it's simple, Zamasu, because unlike you, we didn't have to go and steal someone else's body and power in order to go and prove a point, Kaioshin. And so now just look at you. This is the example that you continue to set for yourself. Fragile body, fragile ego, weak mind, weak spirit. That is who you are and that is all that you will ever be. You're such a fool, Gohan. Do you truly believe that even if you win, that it signifies some kind of an end? Because that couldn't be further from the truth, Gohan Black then went on to add. For you may stand victorious now, but the chessboard is vast and you have barely beaten the pawns, mortal. And of all the timelines which you stand stronger than me now, there awaits another that will devour you and that very light that burns within your very spirit whole. For Zamasu is eternal, Saiyan. And so don't assume that you've won just because you've thrown us to the wayside.
terrified with Beast Gohan responding, and do you think that's honestly supposed to scare me or something, Zamasu? Because you can stop wasting your breath for you only have but a few moments away from being destroyed, and since your fate with me has already been sealed, go and put your hands up and die with some honor, you scum. You think I'm trying to scare you, Saiyan? No, for I'm just telling you the truth of the matter, Black went on to then continue, because as much as you want to assume that this is over, this, my friend, is far, far from over. Not by a long shot, and not until King Zamasu is done having his way. And so I just want you to know that just as much as you hate to hear it, but since we were able to evolve your primal powers far beyond what you could have ever have hoped to possibly achieve, for if we were able to do that back then through evolving Goku and Vegeta's god transformations, then just imagine as to what I could do with this beast level of yours if I were to go on and achieve it too. Either way, you are without a chance, Gohan, you hear me? You, Saiyan scum, are without a chance in the world of stopping us! But it was only just when Gohan Black had attempted to strike Beast Gohan with Beast Gohan quickly having to be shown teleporting out of the way was when Gohan then went on to respond, Oh, is that so? Well, do you still believe that we're the ones that are without a chance of destroying you here, Black? Or is it the fact that you are the ones who are drowning in the deep end, Zamasu? How dare you go and use my body along with my power to hurt innocent people, you disgusting excuse for life? How dare you go and hurt the people that I care about by using my face as a mask to cover up your failure? Failures, Kaioshin! No more, for I'm going to shred you for what you've done! Beast Gohan responds upon being shown elbowing Black in the spine, which only then within that moment, surprisingly enough, with Zamasu yet again being shown having to use his time ring in creating a portal and sending Gohan back to which where he came was when Zamasu then went on to respond, and now to rid you of your duties and send you back to the timeline where you belong, for you will not use my name to enact your false sense of justice. And so good riddance to you along with your hypocritical vision of a new utopia, back from where you came, vermin. Oh, uh, wait a second, is he on our side, Beast Gohan questions, with Orange Piccolo having to then chime in? Trust me, me and Vegeta are just as taken back as you are by this, but more on that a little later because we have bigger fish to fry at the moment and so we gotta stay focused here, kid. To which lo and behold, with all of Goku Black's dark warriors then sent back to their own respective timelines was when Zamasu then went on to add, I can only hope that this ring works and that they are all sealed within their realms never to return again. But now is not the time to ponder because as long as that monster remains intact and mobile without pushback against him, then he is the greatest threat which endangers us all unless he is dealt with here and now. He, the one who claims to be many, is all that remains, to which as Broly's battle with Goku Black in the distance was now beginning to intensify was when Zamasu then went on to continue, and now with each of them being sent back to where they all belong, this here just leaves us with only one more who remains, Zamasu says. The strongest among them all, and the leader and the very source of this entire mess to begin with. And so now that we have him right where we need for him to be, we cannot afford to make any mistakes against him, or he will somehow find a way to use them all against us. And in any case, if we don't somehow find a way to destroy destroy him right here, right now, then we may never be able to win if we can't end him at this exact moment, as it was only right then and there now, during that moment, with a Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of Goku Black's resurrection manga chapter number 16 special then comes to a close. Actually, I'll go and take it from here as I do want to go as far as to address something with all of our dear viewers at the moment. As before, I go and give you the following information. If you aren't already a member of Unreal's Patreon, community, then you are truly missing out on so much without you even knowing. As not only is the next episode already on the page, but if you want to support all of the content that you see and gain access to tons of exclusives along the way, then we do encourage for you all to become a members of our Patreon community today, for we will link it all down.
down in the description box below and pinned comment section. Now I will go as far as to say that even though I find it to be rather interesting to see our heroes form an unexpected alliance with Universe 10's alternate Kaio Shin in doing what they can to get the better of Goku Black, I'm afraid that while Goku Black still remains as being the last and most powerful enemy on the battlefield, if our heroes don't find a way to somehow combine their efforts and take him down now while they still have the chance, then I'm afraid all hope will be lost if they are unable to find the opening they need in order to put down Goku Black for good. And so you do not want to miss out on what is about to happen coming up next. So we hope that you all enjoyed today's video as before you leave. Do make sure to give this video a thumbs up by smashing that like button on your way out, as well as subscribing to Unreal Ent Gaming's channel in case you are new around here. We thank you all for watching and hope you all have a wonderful day everyone as we'll see you all in the next one. Hello! Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unreal Ent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi! Silent Cell, me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video. <laughs>